by Liz Garton Scanlon. Little Louis wasn't all that little. It wasn't like he needed his mum every minute of the day. Usually, uh, but when little Louis got sick, he felt littler than usual. Like maybe his mum should check on him kind of often, every three minutes or so. Today, little Louis's nose was clogged. His ears crackled and his brain felt full. He didn't know what, but mostly his nose. It was disgusting. Little Louis didn't want to colour or watch TV. He didn't even want to shoot baskets with wadded up tissues. All he wanted, besides maybe some hot chocolate, was his mother. Bob! called little Louis with his weird, all wrong, stuffed up voice. His dog, Bob, came running and slobbering. No, I want my Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. Bob didn't know what to say about that. Little Louis's mother came to his bedroom door. Why all the yelling, pumpkin? Asked Mum. Little Louis said, a, said out a sad, I don't feel well and my nose is clogged, moan. <sighs> okay, sweetie, let's see. It didn't matter what she was going to say. All little Louis wanted was his mum. But she had to go and get his sister from the bus. The next day, little Louis was even sicker. His lips chapped and his eyes gunked. As for his nose, you couldn't even imagine. So he just lay there getting hot and sweaty, which sounded like hot and sweaty. Who's hot and sweaty? said his sister. No, not sweaty. Sweaty and hot. Tessa didn't know who Smeddy was. Hot either. I don't think anyone understands what he's trying to say. Mum would understand. Bob! Called little Louie. His dog Bob came running and slobbering. Not Bob! Not Bob! Tessa looked at him like he was a cuckoo. So did Bob. Little Louie was starting to feel kind of cuckoo and nothing seemed to help. I don't want my medicine! I don't want a proper bank and I don't want a death. Which means, I don't want my medicine. I don't want a bubble bath and I don't want a nap. I just want my mum. Bob came running and slobbering. No, 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 no. Little Louie was all mixed up. So was Bob. So was Mum. She dropped the laundry and kicked off her shoes. She climbed in next to little Louie and pulled the blankets tight. She held him close. Oh, Louie, she said. Oh, Bob, he said. Bob came running and slobbering. He jumped up on the bed with them and they lay there all afternoon, cosy as can be. And even though little Louie wasn't all that little and didn't need his mother every minute of the day, well, it was still awfully nice to have her there. Bob too. Little by little, Louie got better. His nose unclogged, his ears uncrackled, and when he yelled, Bob! It was because he actually wanted Bob. Bob came running and jumping and slobbering. And even though little Louie didn't actually need his mum every minute of the day, he thought it was awfully nice when she came running too. Did you call me? Oh dear, how 
dreadful. And that's the end of the story.